Joe and in this video I'm going to explain how to access comma separated value or CSV files using Python's CSV library. So I'll show you how to open and read and write to a CSV file using the CSV module. So we're going to start with this capitals.csv, a CSV file that I actually created in Excel and saved as a .csv file. And it has states and capitals, and you can see there's a header row that says state and capital. And then there are four rows that have a state and a capital. And you'll note that these are all comma separated, but they do include some spaces in some cases, and they also don't have quotes around them. So our capitals Python file, we first have to have the import CSV statement to import the CSV module. And then we're going to read each row and print it out we'll use with open then the file name and then we have a comma R to open it in the read mode the file handle will just be F now we create a CSV reader object which takes this file handle and it also takes the delimiter which is comma so your delimiter could be spaces or it could be a semicolon or whatever you can use different types of delimiter although it's called a CSV file you could have a delimiter as whatever you want and then as we iterate each row in this reader, in the CSV reader, the reader actually returns a list of items that are already split by our delimiter. We saw in our file that we have a comma for the delimiter and it's going to split giving us row of 0 and row of 1 for the two items in each row. First we check if the length of the row is equal to 2 because if it's actually an empty line, let's say a blank line, that only has a carriage return, we would get an error if we tried to print row of 1. So we check if the length of that row is equal to 2, and if it is, then we print out the first item, which is the state, and the comma, and then a second item, which is the capital. So let's run this few lines of code here at the command prompt and see what happens. So just as we expected, we open the file, we print out the first item, a comma, a space, and then the second item. Now let's say we want to add two more items to that file. So we're going to say the states are Tripura and West Bengal, and the capitals are these two. This is going to basically append. We want to open the file. We have with open file name. We're going to open it in the append mode. If we don't use this new line equals blank, we tend to get a double return after each line. So I'm not quite sure why that is, but this solves the problem. So we open it. We have a file handle. We open it as F, so our file handle is named just F as a variable. And then we open a CSV writer using that file handle and again the delimiter comma. And then we're going to iterate these states. We only have two here, but we're going to iterate those states. And for each state, we're going to write the state and its capital. We use the W, which is our CSV writer, dot write row command. So using w dot write row, we basically are writing the state in its capital and then uh, iterating to the next i in this state in its capital. So let's comment out our previous lines of code. And let's save this and run it at the command line and see what happens. So we should have written two new states and capitals. And we jump back to notepad++. We reload the file, our capitals.csv, and indeed we do have the two new states and their capitals. So that worked just fine. Now if we wanted to write these with, let's say, quotes around them, in some cases you want to have quotes around each, each item that's separated by commas, we'll comment this out. So we'll modify our previous function, and the only thing we really need to change is quoting equals csv.quoteAll. So that will quote all items. There, there are different options for this quoting. You can quote non-numeric items, so you don't put quotes around the numeric items. Or you can quote all, or the default is quote none. And then we'll run this again. So let's save that. Let's run it at the command line again. And hopefully, as we reload this file, yeah, we can see we rewrote the same two lines again, but this time with quotes around them. So it's pretty simple to add quotes if you need quotes around those items as you're writing them to a file. And if we want to uncomment and see how our open, read, and print works with the quotes, let's take a look at that. So we'll save that, and we can go and run this file again. And you can see it doesn't print out the quotation marks. So it 
it already knows to strip off the quotation marks when it prints these out. So let's comment out all of these lines and do one last trick. We will use the uh, CSV dictionary reader and this allows us to read in the items as a dictionary using these headers. So we have state and capital are the, the basically the variable names for these two columns that we have. Using instead of just a regular reader, we use um, reader equals csv.dictreader. And this creates a dict reader object using the same common delimiter. And now we can use row of state and row of capital. And it uses state and capital as the keys for the dictionary. And the values basically are each line, the state and capital within each line. So it's using this first line as the keys and the values within the dictionary are all of these. So let's try and run that and see how that works. So you see it printed out all the states and capitals. It did also was smart enough to strip off the quotation marks and it didn't print out the header row that said state and capital whereas the previous times we ran the program it did print out the header line. As usual, I'll post all my code on my GitHub site here. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, I hope you'll click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.